Okay, folks, this is Jeff. I'm back. Uh, we've completed the drawdown on the batteries. And they're uh, now drained down below the cutoff point. It actually shut off the inverters. I wasn't sure if it would shut the inverters off all the way or just quit putting out power, but apparently it shut them all the way down. And the generator kicked in. Now powering my house through, through the generator right there. That is going through the automatic switch right over there. I think I'll turn the grid power back on and see if these uh, see if these inverters are pop come back on. Let's see what happens. bypass mode um, but the batteries uh, the batteries are down 04 so that's uh, that's the reason we get an alarm because they're below their charge level so I think that's probably going to clear up um, once this charge comes up a little bit. If it doesn't, I'll dig into the manual and see what's going on with that. But the batteries are charged all the way down. Actually, I got an alarm on them as well. And that's probably because of the voltage level. I'm gonna pull a voltmeter out and see what we got. Trying to do this one-handed. Well, it's not so easy doing it one-handed. Right on DC votes. Let's see, it's gonna be easier. I check it over here because I can use one hand. The terminals aren't so far apart. So let's see what we got right here. Yeah, I'm at 49 volts. So that should put me in alarm. But uh, it's charging up. So that should clear up in a little bit.
And what this has done is test, I powered my entire house for about seven and a half hours off these six batteries. And I've got three more batteries to connect. So at the current, at today's power usage, which was minimal, granted it's Sunday and we, we weren't doing all that. Uh, with the nine batteries, I should get about 10 hours. But um, we'll see. All right, enjoy your day.